कृपयाष्टम अश्वपूर्ण कुलेक्षण उवाच मधुसूदन मधुसूदन कृष्णा इज डिस्क्राइब किया एज मधुसूदन दिलर ऑफ द डिमान मधु मधु कई टवा भार अर्जुन वाज एटैक्ट बाय ए डिम ऑफ फर गेटिंग इज ड्यूटी बींग टू मच एफ्लिक्टेड बाई बॉडी रिलेशन दिस इज आवर पोजिशन In this material world, we are so much attached to this bodily relationship that it is to be considered uh, just like we are ghostly haunted. In a uh, poetry, Prem Vivarta, it is said that. पिशाची पाइले जान मतिक्षण मायार्कस्त जीवर से दशा उपज मायस्त जीव मायस्त माया मीन्स इल्यूशन एल्यूशिनेशन सी आर इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड We are all illusions. Illusion means accepting something as fact, which is not something. Uh, just like in dream, we see sometimes some attacked with a tiger. My head is being cut off. So many things. Well, actually, there is no tiger. My head is not being cut off, but still I am crying. Oh, here is a tiger. Here is a tiger. So, our attachment for this world is like that. It is illusion. Uh, I am thinking that without me. Everything will be spoiled. My presence is required, and so on, so on. Just like sometimes our political leaders, each and every one of them think that without him, the whole situation will be spoiled. Even Mahatma Gandhi. He was so attached that he would not retire from political life unless he was killed. The attachment was so strong. But after passing away, a Mahatma Gandhi, a Jawaharlal Nehru, or so many big big leaders, the world is going on. There is a Bengali proverb that. When the king dies, it does not mean the kingdom stops. The kingdom goes on. But when so long the leader or the person in charge remains there, uh, he thinks that without me everything will be spoiled. This is called Maya. This is called illusion. According to Vedic system, therefore. There is forced renunciation. Nobody wants to retire from family life, but the Vedic injunction is that after one has passed fifty years, he must leave his family. On chance of dhang banang brajet. In the beginning, 
as a student life his trainer brahmachari undergoing severe austerities penances and taking instruction from the spiritual master about the temporary existence of this material world in this way he is trained up very nicely and even after training if he appears to be attached to this material world he is allowed to go home and marry and some of the brahmacharis are <coughs> allowed to remain noistic brahmachari without going home and accepting uh, uh, a wife but one who cannot he is allowed to accept wife and become a householder and remain there for 25 years because generally the brahmachari was going home at the age of 24 years 25 years So after marriage, he may get a child. So living there for 25 years means the child is grown up. Then the husband and wife takes leave, not leaving for go, but banapras, uh, traveling in pilgrimages like <coughs> Vrindavan, Prayag. That was the system. and after two months again he comes back and he remains home for another two months again goes out in this way the whole process is how to give up attachment from this family life from this was and when he is trained up fully he takes a nap uh, that is our basic system so the attachment to this material world is very strong uh, that is stated in the simad bhagavatam by uh, rishabde tum uh, sham sriyami thuni bhavami tat this whole material world is an attachment of uh, male and female tum sham sriya mithuni bhav uh, sex impulse attachment tayor mitha hridaya janti mahu and when they are married when they are united then it becomes a hard knot in the heart ata vyachhe tu sutapta vittai jana samoho yam aham mameti then gradually Uh, after being united, one becomes attached to griha, home, apartment, chetra. Formerly there was no industry, so everyone must have some land to produce food. Griha, chetra, shuto, then children, apto, friends, bitta, the money. Without money, nothing can be maintained. Ata griya chhe trusutar to bittei jana sa moha. He becomes more and more illusioned. And aham mameti, or this is my country, this is my family, this is my house, this is my children. Chhaan chhaan mama, mine, and I am this person and this body. This is illusion. So, or do appear to be illusion. Ah, the how I shall fight with my brothers and grandfather on the other side? Ah, he becomes so much illusion. Then the thought will be arrested. He became illusion, not unnecessarily. He was very much compassionate. Compassionate. With his family members, he uh, prayed with them. O Supurna Kulekshana, and he was crying. There were tears in his eyes. 
Vishidam tam nidam bakram. And he was lamenting in this way. How shall I fight? <coughs> so Krishna then began to speak. Krishna saw that my friend Arjuna has become too much illusion. So uh, <coughs> he wanted to kill the demon of illusion. Therefore he is mentioned here as Madhusudana. Krishna comes, he has got two business. Paritrana sadhana vinasaya duskita. Side by side, giving protection to his devotees, sadhu. Sadhu means devotee. Uh, devotee of Krishna is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita as sadhu. Apiche sugudachara bhajati maam ananabha. Sadhuri was one who is uh, strictly a pure devotee of Krishna. He is mentioned as Sadhu. Sadhuri was Samantha. Samak Bhagavasita he is first class Sadhu. Uh, even if he is a Gihasta, it doesn't matter. Generally, we understand Sadhu means with uh, saffron cloth. No. Sadhu's qualification is that he must be a pure devotee of Krishna. Uh, sadhava sadhu bhushana. Uh, sadhava sadhu bhushana. <coughs> so now Krishna speaks. See Bhagavan was. Bhagavan. This Bhagavan means one who is full with six kinds of opulences. He is called Bhagavan. Oishadyasya, Samadyasya, Bijasya, Jasasya, Sriya, Jnana, Vairagvayaschaiva, Sarayiti, Bhagavangana. Bhagavan. Bhagavan and Krishna. Krishna means all attract. Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Krishna Sri Bhagavan Sayam. There are other great personalities. Lord Shiva is also some, sometimes described as Bhagavan. Similarly, Lord Brahma, Narada, others are also sometimes described as Bhagavan. But real Bhagavan means Krishna. They are, they are Bhagavan, partial. All these things have been very much carefully analyzed by Srila Rupa Goswami. He has analyzed in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, which we have translated into English, Nectar of Devotion. He has analyzed that Krishna is seven percent Bhagavan. And Narayan is 94 percent of it. And Lord Shiva is 84 percent. And all other living entities, all living entities we are, we are minutely uh, 78 percent of uh, That means when you come to the perfection of life, when you are actually in the spiritual stage, then you are, you have got the qualities of Bhagavan in minute quantity, but not all the qualities, eighty, seventy-eight parts. Uh, these have been very nicely analyzed uh, <coughs> in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And the Shastra says also, Krishna stu Bhagavan Sayam. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a list of all the incarnations. A such and such incarnation appears for such and such particular activities. Uh, in, the, in that incarnation list, uh, there is name of Lord Ramchandra also, 
Lord Buddha also, uh, Buddha's name is also there, but in the conclusive portion it is declared there, Ete chansa kala pumsa, Krishna stu bhagavan sa. In the at least the name of Lord Krishna, Lord Balaram is there also. But the conclusion is given by Vyaste that <coughs> except Krishna, all others, they are a plenary expansion of Krishna or part of plenary expansion of Krishna, Angsha Kala. Angsha means direct expansion. And Kala means <coughs> expansion of the secondary expansion. So it is concluded there that Iti Chamsukala Bhumsa, all these incarnations, they are either Angsha or Kala. But Krishna, the name Krishna, Krishna Stu Bhavan Sayam, he is the original personality of God, Krishna. Same thing here, as they describe, Sri Bhagavan Uvach. He is not ordinary person. Uh, Bhagavan speaking. Uh, Bhagavan means what is Bhagavan? Oishadja. Oishadja means riches. Nobody can be richer than Bhagavan. We have got our ideas of richness. Uh, I may be rich, but you are richer than me. Somebody is richer than you, somebody is richer than another, another, another. You go, <coughs> make proceed. Uh, when you find out the final richest person, that is Bhagavan. Aishadyasya samagras, all riches. Uh, not that partial. <coughs> uh, one may have one thousand, another may have one lakh, one may have one crore. But nobody can say that I have got all the monies. No, that is not possible. But Bhagavan has all the monies. Aishadyasya, uh, samagrasya, bhijasya, similarly strength, bodily strength or power. Aishadyasya, samagrasya, bhijasya, jasasya. And similarly reputation. Ah, we are also reputed, ah, but nobody can be reputed than Krishna. Ah, just like five thousand years ago, he spoke this Bhagavad Gita, and he so reputed that Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita, and he still it is running on, not only in India. But we are traveling all over the world. There are so many editions of Bhagavad Gita. So he is so reputed. So he said, Jasa, Savagrasa, Bijasa, Jasasa, Sriya, and beautiful. The most beautiful. Krishna. Most attract. Jasasa, Gyana, knowledge. Now, uh, Krishna's knowledge, there is no limit. Still, the knowledge, the book of knowledge which has given this Bhagavad Gita, there is no comparison. There is no second book in the whole world which contains so full of knowledge. So, Jnana and Bhairag also, uh, in spite of all the property of Krishna, uh, Krishna doesn't care for this material world. Uh, uh, he is busy in the spiritual world. Uh, Radha Madhava, Kunya Vihari, he is busy in Vrindavan. Uh, he has many servants, just big man, has got many secretaries, servants, they look after. Similarly, uh, in this material world, he is representative. Ah, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, they are managing the affairs of this whole universe. Ah. But he is enjoying and Bindava. Jai Radha Madhava Kunya Vihari. He has no concern. 
Uh, he doesn't care what is happening here. Uh, but it, it does not mean that he doesn't care, but he has no anxiety how the things are being managed. When it is mismanaged, then sometimes Krishna comes in his Vāsudev form, not the original Krishna. Original Krishna never leaves Vrindavan. Pāda mekam nagach. He is always in his abode. Chintāvani prapara sadmasu palpa vrikha lakha vṛteshu surabhi rabhi pālayanta lakshmi sahasya sata samrama sevvamānam govindam ādi purusam tamahaṁ He is very much uh, adhered to his cows, surabhi rabhi pālayanta. Uh, and he is surrounded by hundreds and thousands of goddess of fortune, these gopis, uh, is around. Lakshmi sahasya sata samrama sebo We are here playing goddess of fortune uh, to have some favor. But in the spiritual world, Krishna is served by hundreds and thousands of goddess of fortune. Uh, this is Krishna's position. Uh, so, I do not know why foolish people, they do not understand what is God. Everything is there. Uh, and He comes also personally. Not only the God's name, address, activities and everything is there, but He comes personally also. He proves Krishna, he proved that he is the Supreme Personality of God. When Krishna was present, uh, he proved all these things. Aishadjasa samaprasya, bijasa, jasasa sriya. He proved. He had sixteen thousand wives, and each wife a big palatial building of marvel, bedecked with jewels and garden with parijat flowers. These are descriptions. Uh, nobody can maintain sixteen thousand wives in sixteen thousand palaces. Uh, not only that, not that if he enters in one palace, he lives with one wife, the other wives are better. No. He expanded himself into sixteen thousand forms. And with each wife who was living comfortably, each wife had ten children. And those children also had each ten children, grandsons. In this way, Krishna's family was more than one pro, Yudhuvans. So, if you study from material point of view, when Krishna was present, he proved that he is Bhagavan. And Bhagavan means not a big beard and meditation. Uh, Krishna never became Bhagavan by meditation. He was not a manufactured God. He is God, all else. Uh, he, is not, he, he is not manufactured. Uh, when he was on the lap of his mother, Jasoda, he was God. Uh, the Putana came to kill him, but Krishna killed him. Uh, in this way, if we read the life of Krishna, he is proved Bhagavan. <coughs> Not only he proved himself, but all others, great authorities, accepted him, Bhagavan. Ah, there are four Vaishnava charges in the recent years, and one. Ah, uh, Mahabad Acharya, Sankara Acharya. Sankara Acharya also, although he is inclined to the impersonal feature of the Lord, but he accepted Krishna, Sabhagavan Sayam Krishna. He accepted. Uh, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. 
नारायण नारायण और मुक्तिया जो आदर्श विष्णु आचार्य रामानुजाचार्य मध्याचार्य विष्णु स्वामी निम्बार्क लेटली लॉर्ड चैतन्य ऑल ऑफ देम एक्सेप्टेड कृष्णा द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एंड अर्जुन की ऑल्सो वेन यू हार्ट फ्रॉम हिम भगवत गीता ही एक्सेप्टेड है एज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है पर ब्रह्म परम धाम पवित्रम परम भगवान पुरुषम शाश्वतम जो कृष्ण इज एक्सेप्टेड यूनिवर्सली the supreme personality of god is a uh, why people are making research where is god i do not uh, why they are uselessly uh, taking so much hard labor to search out god here is god krishna bhagwan vacha uh, so uh, there is no reason there is no Uh, and the chance of uh, 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 not accepting Krishna as the supreme personality of God, Krishna personally says uh, that matta paradam nanya kinchi dosti dhananya. There is no more superior element above me. Aham sarvasa prabhava. I am the origin of. Uh, everything uh, 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 adi devanam uh, uh, there there are so many statesmen krishna is the supreme personality of god so anyone who is actually serious about uh, understanding about the supreme personality of god uh, there is no difficulty but because we are obstinate because we are sinful because we are lowest of the mankind because our knowledge has been taken away by maya and because we are atheist we do not accept krishna as the supreme person otherwise there is no reason krishna therefore describes namang duskita nam murha prapadante naradha ah Unless one is duskriti no, uh, always uh, miscreants, full of sinful life, he cannot deny Krishna as the supreme personality of God. Uh, so our this Krishna consciousness movement is preaching all over the world that you are all uh, advanced in civilization. and advance in scientific knowledge and advance in everything but we are missing one thing god krishna uh so here is god here is krishna you try to understand krishna and be krishna conscious and make your life successful that is our program thank you very much hari krishna